All right, y'all, what's going on, man? It is time to talk about the Colorado Buffaloes, man. Big win for them against Utah. A game I thought for the most part they controlled. Definitely could have won by more. Um, but, man, I know we're going to talk about Travis. We're going to talk about Shador, man. But I want to start and give some credit and props to this defense and what they was able to do in this game. It was great. I thought all day long when the offense was struggling a little bit, had to pick, forced the field goal. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, when they had the turnover in the game, they, they lead only 14-3. Defense holds again. Like, defense did what they were supposed to do, I thought. And they makes it makes them a real contender and why they're 8-2 on the season. All right, now looking at this defense, man, this guy right here, Cameron Simone uh, Craig, hey, man, that dude is lethal, man. I know he plays strong safety, plays a little bit in the box. He had another stellar game. Shallow Sanders had pretty much called game. Uh, where his five tackles end up having the strip sack late in the game. They gave Colorado the ball, and then you see an incredible play from Travis Hunter. Uh, plays later. I thought he had one of his better games of the season, but this is one guy, man. Nakai Hill Green, man. That is what you need at that linebacker spot. You need an enforcer. You need somebody that's going to be thumping. This guy's a thumper, man. He lays big hits on the quarterback, on the running back. He does what he's supposed to do, man, and he's a really great player for them. Five tackles in this one. Also had a pick. Second consecutive game with a pick for the Buffaloes, man. I thought his play was incredible today, and they got something special because you got guys at that second level who ain't afraid to throw their body around with Shiloh, obviously Simone Craig, and they also got Nikai Hill Green, um, and they're willing to make them big hits, man, let you know, hey, you're going to fill us when you come through this middle. You're going to fill us when you're on the outside. You're going to fill us when you do A, B, C, D. You know what I'm saying? So I think when you have that and you got guys you could depend on um, at that second level to do that, this really makes you a strong team, man. So I, I never had a doubt. Obviously, they, they, they closed it down 24-35, um, but Colorado went back down with a big-time scoring drive. Defense gets the turnover, ends up sealing the deal. Now, offensively, uh, again, now I think it's just more of a choice thing. Um, the offensive line was up and down in this game. Had four four holding pen had four holding penalties officially um, in this one. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that hurt them a little bit. But I thought they did a good job of really protecting Shador for the most part in this one. The running game, I feel like, could be even more electric. Now, they ran it 20 times, only 3.3. .3. But remember, let's look at the box score. Shador ran it seven times. These are likely scrambles. So you don't even count this, right? You would, you would really put this, not even count that seven runs, right? But pretty much with the running backs, August Dave and then uh, Hayden, four carries, six yards. Okay, August Dave had the seven carries, 59 yards. August Dave is giving you something special, I believe, at that running back spot. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had that big breakaway run. I think it was over 30-plus yards. Um, you know what I'm saying? He's a guy that you could depend on to get a ball to, and he's going to come up with big plays. Average 8.4 yards per carry. So that's not that's not necessarily him not running it efficiently. That's actually him running it more efficiently than you think. That's just him not getting the touches he needs. So going forward, when they play these elite teams, like when you play BYU, they're going to have to be balanced. I know this is a passing-oriented offense with Pat Shermer and what he can bring to the table and what he can do. But got to lean on, I think, August Dave just a little bit more. He's showing you what limited touches, what he could do with the football, man. Um, but I also want to give a shout out to Draylon Miller, man. He had another good game. True freshman playing because obviously Jimmy Horn is not in. Um, I thought he had a great game. Six catches, 108 yards, man. That one play that he had down the field, that big time touchdown when he broke multiple tackles. Look, he was going to go down and ended up coming in, man. And that's what's special about this Colorado team. They got guys that can come in there. Um, and that can step up. They didn't have that much depth. And I, I keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying it. Colorado has the best wide receiving core in college football. Say what you want. Argue with your mama. I'm telling y'all, I've seen it each week. I've watched about five or six games now in Colorado. Draylon Miller, true freshman right there. LeJounte Weston had an electric punt return in this game when it was early, only 7-3. to three. Absolutely gave Colorado some real good control in this one. So shout out to LeJounte Weston. Big time game for him as well. Uh, he finished with 10 catches for 77 yards. Then you have Will Shepard, two touchdowns. And he's your guy. He's like your 50-50 ball guy. Just get, just throw the ball up to him. He's going to get it. He's going to come down with it. He's going to come up with a big time catch, man. So I thought he was another player that was pretty electric in this one. Uh, but what he was able to do. And Travis didn't even have a big game. Five catches, 55 yards. That's the difference with this team, though. They got other players that can step up besides Travis offensively. It ain't just, oh, let's throw it to Travis Hunter. It's the Travis Hunter show. No, they got Draylon Miller, LaJounte West, or Jimmy Horn when he comes back, Will Shepard. They got guys all over this field that can make big plays, man, and that's what makes them special. Now, some other key stats in this game, when you look it down and you obviously break, you break it down for Colorado, right? Only 3 for 11 for third down, so they're going to have to fish, uh, fix that. But look at this stat right here. 405 yards of total offense only held them to 272. That says a lot. And they, they made them turn over this football, right? When you look at the turnovers, four turnovers in this game. Now, Colorado wasn't much better. They had three, but three interceptions, and they capitalized on the turnovers in this one. So I thought that was also crucial um, in this game as well, man. Capitalized on turnovers, 
right? Got to be more efficient on, on, on third down, but was able to get the plays that he needed to get. So I thought that was key for them as well, man. So all around, man, great win for Colorado. Now, I know everybody's going to ask about, obviously, Travis Hunter Jr. He had a good game. You know, he had a good game offensively. Look, in this game, he got torched a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He gave up that big touchdown play. You know what I'm saying? Had a couple, you know, one or two missed tackles in that one. It wasn't his most cleanest game. Even his head coach, Coach Prime, agrees with me, right? He should have had a better game. But overall, we're not going to sit here and say that Travis is not the best player in college football. Like, I I'm not going to be the one to say that. Travis Hunter is one of the best players in college football. Humbly, that's what he is. He's a star. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the best players in the sport. He's a he's trending to an all-time great at the sport of college football. He's probably going to get his jersey retired, all that good stuff, and become a college football Hall of Fame member because nobody's doing what he's doing. But this was not his best game. Like, if you watched it, you knew that. Shador showed you some things, came came alive late. This was not his best game either. I thought he was missing some reads in there a little bit. I uh, was patting the ball a little bit too much. But overall, had a pretty good game, over 350-plus yards passing, three touchdowns. But got to do a little bit better with the reads. But I thought, I think he's getting better with improvising and being able to find those different pockets in the zones and keeping plays alive and getting it downfield and converting third downs. But overall, man, good win for Colorado. They moved 8-2 and two to defeat Utah, held them down for the most part, didn't allow them the rushing game to really get going, pressured the quarterback, I think four sacks in this one. Outstanding performance yet again from the Buffaloes. They're the real deal.